Students, today we are going to concentrate on pipe bond formation and Cl and O bond order in chlorine oxy acids. Why I am choosing this spot is it is very important for the competitive examinations, especially NEET, JEE mains, and JEE advanced examinations. So in this, uh, how the chlorine oxy acids uh, they form the pi bond and the, what is their bond order. So before to discuss that word, that one, every student want to know what are the oxy acids of chlorine. A brief explanation for that one is HOCl. HClO2, HClO3, HClO4. These are called oxy acids, but all these are oxy acids are stronger acids. That is why they will exist as their ions. That means they are exist as a salt. OCl minus and ClO2 minus and ClO3 minus and ClO4 minus. Students, HOCl is a hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid. And come to the HClO2. This is called chlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid, chlorous acid. And you take the HClO3. When compared with hypochlorous, one more chlorine, one more oxygen is extra. So that is called as chloric acid. As to become weak, chloric acid. When compared with chloric acid, one more oxygen is added. So it will become perchloric acid. These are the names of the oxy acids of the chlorine. But all these acids are stronger acids. That's why they exist as their salts. What is the name of the salt? This is a hypochlorous acid. As acid salts are called aids. Ic acid salts are called aids. Hypochlorous acid. Its name is hypochlorite. 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 And this one, chlorite. And this one, chlorate. And this is perchlorate. Perchlorate. Students, this is a brief introduction regarding the names. Now we are going to check which type of five bonds are there. And what is the bond order in all these compounds? Let's see in detail every molecule. Students, now I am taking the first molecule that is ClO minus. I am putting the heading hypochlorous acid, but here I am taking hypochlorite ion. What is the reason? All oxy acids of chlorine will exist as their salts, their anions, because they are the stronger acids. So hypochlorous acid generally will exist as a hypochlorite ion. Here the central atom is the chlorine and it is the ground state configuration for the formation of a single bond with the oxygen because oxygen already carries a negative charge. So one unpaired electron is required. But chlorine already have one unpaired electron in the ground state. So it does not undergo any further excited state. So the possible hybridization is the sp3 and this is the single bond between the oxygen and chlorine. There is a no pi bond formation and the bond order is here only one. What is the bond order in polyatomic molecules? Number of bonds formed around the central atom by number of atoms which shared that number of bonds. Here number of bond order for the calculation of bond order number of bonds formed number of bonds formed number of bonds formed by central atom by central atom by number of number of surrounded atoms surrounded the surrounded atoms of that central atom student here is number of bonds formed by the central atom is only one 
number of surrounded atoms is 1 so here bond order is 1 so all the students requested to remind, remind that bond order in ClO is 1 right and go for the next molecule now I am taking the second molecule that is chloride ion it is ion anion of the chlorous acid in this chloride ion, chlorine has surrounded with two oxygen atoms. One oxygen has a chance of double bond O and another oxygen has a single bond and with carrying the negative charge. So all together in HO, in ClO2 minus chlorine can form three bonds. For the formation of three bonds, it needs three unpaired electrons but in the ground state only one unpaired electron it is not sufficient that is why chlorine here undergoes first excited state because of first excited state one electron jumps to 3d sub level as a result this is the configuration but in the as per our explanation in clo2 minus there is a one double bond between chlorine and oxygen that means one pi bond according to the valency bond theory pi bond is formed by the pure orbitals so you have to preserve we have to reserve one d orbital one orbital one orbital for pi bond formation and remaining you allow all the remaining orbitals for the hybridization so what are the hybrid what are the orbitals left one s orbital and three p orbitals as a result the hybridization is sp3 here pi bond formation for one pi bond formation one d orbital is left and the remaining all orbitals are involved in the sp3 hybridization among all the four sp3 hybrid orbital two hybrid orbitals have two hybrid orbitals have two lone pairs sp3 hybridization with two lone pairs leads to the formation of leads to the formation of angular angular shape even though sp3 has tetrahedral geometry shape will be angular due to the presence of due to the presence of these two lone pairs look at this its structure look at this this structure here one oxygen made a single bond because it has a negative charge and this double bond is made up of one sigma and one pi bond student this is a sigma bond this is a sigma and this is a pi here we are concentrating on which type of orbitals in in pi bond formation in chlorine pi for the formation of pi bond d orbital having one unpaired electron is ready it undergoes overlapping with the p orbital of oxygen because oxygen already have the p orbital only so pi bond formation here is d pi p pi so in clo2 minus one d pi p pi pi bond is possible in the previous molecule clo minus there is a no pi bond formation but here one pi bond is there that one pi bond is by d pi p pi Regarding the sigma bond, chlorine always gives the sp3 hybrid orbital and oxygen will provide the p orbital. So sigma bond is formed by the sp3 and p and this sigma bond is also formed by the overlapping of sp3 and p orbitals. This is the type of orbitals involved in ClO2- minus for bond formation. And look at the bond order. Bond order already I am giving the formula that is number of bonds formed by the central atom here is 3 by number of surrounded atoms are 2 so here bond order is 1.5 students please remember in case of ClO minus bond order is 1 in case of ClO2 minus bond order is 1.5 now we look forward for the remaining two molecules ClO3 minus and ClO4 minus now this is the time for third molecule that means third anion that is chlorate ion here chlorate ion is represented with the ClO3 minus here also the central atom is chlorine this chlorine have the bonds with the three oxygen atoms 
but one oxygen have the single bond due to the presence of negative charge and remaining two oxygen atoms have the ability to form a double bond with the chlorine altogether clo3 minus has five bonds that means the central chlorine atom requires five unpaired electron but in the ground state of chlorine only one paid one unpaired electron is there this is discussed already in the previous molecules but here we need five electrons five unpaired electron every one excitation will increase two unpaired electron so totally for the requirement of five unpaired we are entering into the second excited state one electron jumps from 3p to d orbital and one more electron jumps from 3p to d orbital so here here this is the second second excited state which results in the formation of five unpaired electrons but which type of hybridization is going on in this molecule to explain that student want to preserve two d orbitals for pi bond formation in clo3 minus two pi bonds are possible so these d orbitals are involved in pi bond formation after preserving the orbitals remaining atomic orbitals undergoes intermixing and form the hybridization which results in the formation of 1 s orbital and 3 p orbitals results in the formation of sp3 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals among the 4 sp3 hybrid orbital electron distribution leads to the formation of one hybrid orbital with lone pair and remaining three are unpaired that's why you are getting tetrahedral geometry and the shape of the clo3 minus with the lone pair e is pyramidal lone pair sp3 hybridization with one lone pair shape is pyramidal so this is the possible structure for oxygen now we are going to concentrate which type of overlapping is possible students so here two orbitals are left for the five bond formation in the chlorine here also two pi bonds are there this bond is a sigma bond this bond is a sigma bond this bond is a pi bond this is a sigma bond and this is the pi bond here for the pi bond formation chlorine provides the d orbital so d pi orbital and p pi orbital so this is the d orbital involved in the pi bond formation this is the p orbital involved in the pi bond formation so d pi p pi overlapping is possible and come to the second bond here the second bond also formed by the d d pi and p pi so here student observe that in this clo3 minus there are two pi bonds these two pi bonds are formed by the d pi p pi overlapping in the previous case clo2 minus only one pi bond that is d pi p pi in the previous first molecule there is a no pi bond at all and come to the sigma bond formation sigma bonds are formed by the p orbital of oxygen and and sp3 hybrid orbital of chlorine in every case sp3 versus p here also sigma bond formed by sp3 versus p this is the information and this geometry is called this geometry is tetrahedral shape of the molecule is pyramidal and come to bond order bond order what is the formula already we are illustrated we have discussed that one bond order is number of bonds formed by the central atom by number of surrounded atoms number of bonds formed by the chlorine is 5 number of bonds atoms surrounded the central atom is 3 so approximately it is 1.66 or 1.67 i am recalling for the clo minus the bond order is 1 for clo2 minus bond order is 2 sorry 1.5 for clo3 minus bond order is 1.67 now we are going to discuss about the last molecule clo4 minus now we are entering into the final molecule of chlorine oxy acids chlorine the final molecule and the strongest acid of chlorine oxy acids is hclo4 and it is ionized as clo4 minus it is called perchlorate ion in this perchlorate ion one oxygen made a single bond and the remaining 
three oxygens made a double bond in another words in the clo4 minus chlorine form seven bonds for the formation of seven bonds as we have discussed earlier seven unpaired electrons are required but in the ground state of chlorine only one unpaired electron is there in order to get the seven unpaired electron it undergoes third excited state in the third excited state the configuration is 3s1 3p3 3d3 so this is the positive, which results in the formation of seven unpaired electrons and in clo4 minus there are four oxygens one made a single bond due to the presence of o minus remaining three oxygens made a double bond so there three double bonds means three pi bonds are there for the three pi bonds formation three orbitals are required three pure orbitals are required for pi bond formation so you have to keep these three pure orbitals for pi bond formation and remaining or atomic orbitals allowed you to participate in the hybridization as a result the hybridization here is sp3 all the sp3 hybrid orbitals possessing only unpaired electron so here geometry is tetrahedral and the shape is also tetrahedral and look forward for its structure this is the cl and it is the o minus here it is the double bond o and it is the c double bond o and here it is also double bond o so tetrahedral geometry is possible this is a sigma bond and this is a sigma bond and it is a pi bond it is a sigma bond it is a pi bond and it is a sigma bond and it is a pi bond here all sigma bonds sigma bonds are formed by the sp3 hybrid orbital of chlorine and p orbital of oxygen and all pi bonds are formed by the d pi orbital of chlorine and p pi orbital of oxygen so in order to in order to compare with the clo clo minus clo2 minus clo3 minus what is the bond order in clo4 minus bond order means number of bonds formed by the central atom and number of atoms which surround the central atom the here central atom is chlorine this chlorine is surround sorry this chlorine can made seven seven bonds and number of surrounded atoms are four so 1.75 is the bond order so this is the explanation of the perchlorate ion students i will consolidate all the all the uh, ions at one place for the comparative study students take overall look it is very useful to for the comparative understanding and comparative study of the bond orders and the hybridization and the remaining things this is the information have a look thank you students please subscribe my channel